just the hair. Still not enough sushi. Okay, let's go. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a foundation review for you, like always. I always have foundation reviews. Anyways, it is on the new Tarte Cosmetics Clay Stick Foundation. Um, I got this in on Thursday of last week. It is currently Sunday when I'm filming this, so I have worn this for three days now. And I do have uh, quite a few opinions on it, and there will be a demo and everything coming in in a minute after I give you the details. This is currently sold on both the Tarte website and at Sephora. Um, you can get this for $39, and it's .32 ounces. You don't get a lot of product, but typically with stick foundations, you don't need as much product as you would with a liquid fluid foundation. So the idea is that you need less. Uh, so that's why you get less, because they're more pigmented than a regular liquid foundation. Um, just for a comparison, the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation is .32 ounces as well, and it's $25. On the other end, you have the Hourglass foundation, seamless foundation stick, which is .25 ounces, so it's even less product, but it's extremely pigmented, and a little goes a long way, as well as with this, but that retails for $46. Um, so it's right in the middle, and it's pretty average for a stick foundation as far as pricing and the amount that you get. Um, on the other end, the Makeup Forever one, I believe, is in is 40 something, but you almost get half an ounce with the Makeup Forever one. I didn't look that one up, so I'm not exactly sure on everything on that one. But you do get a little bit more with that one. Um, so like I said, this does retail for $39. 12 shades within the range. You get real... I feel like they have the light to medium skin tones pretty well covered as this is the lightest shade that I have right here and this is fair neutral so it's yellow and pink undertones. I feel like their, their the lighter shades are pretty good. I feel like their medium tones are pretty good but I don't feel like they have a really good shade variety for darker skin tones um, and I feel like that's where it's lacking. It does come in 12 shades like I said. Uh, this is supposed to be medium to full coverage. I would agree with that. On um, first application it is definitely medium and if you do a second layer, which it is buildable upon itself, it's full coverage. Uh, this is supposed to be for all skin types, no matter what your skin type. I am dry, for instance, you're supposed to be able to wear this and it's supposed to look nice on the skin. Uh, it's supposed to have this natural skin-like finish. I would agree with that. It's supposed to wear for 12 hours and be really creamy and lightweight upon the skin. It also has vitamin C and E in it, so it has a little bit of the skincare benefits as well as this as well as it has micro encapsulated powders. So if you have oily skin, what that means, um, it's kind of like the Makeup Atelier one where throughout the day, if you're getting oily, they kind of burst. Uh, of course, that would be kind of cool to see like little puffs of powder or something coming I, mean, I, I don't know. Okay, that's what I think of when I hear that, like little puffs of powder. Anyways, they're supposed to burst throughout the day as your skin gets oily and kind of absorb the oil to help you stay shine, th shine free for throughout the day. You can use this as a concealer. I tried using this as a concealer on the very first day that I tried this and I did not like it. It creased, it just, it didn't look good as a concealer and I wouldn't recommend using it as such. It's just, for me, it did not work as a concealer, um, so I did not use it as a concealer today because it just did not look good. Um, and I thought this was kind of interesting. On the website, it gives you two options for tools to use. I used a sponge and a brush today, but on the website, it says if you use it with their Tarte sponge, you're supposed to get fuller coverage, and if you use it with their Tarte brush, uh, you get medium coverage, which I thought was interesting. You get lesser, you usually get lesser coverage with a sponge than you do with a brush. So I thought that was kind of interesting when they put that on the website. And of course, I think I already said this, but the darker shades, you can use the stick to contour with. It's a little heavy for me to do that. Um, it's kind of creamy and a little bit too heavy. I, I, per I personally probably wouldn't use this as a concealer or as a contour product. Um, plus the shades don't really go for contouring for my skin type as I need something really, really cool tone uh, for contour. I can use a little bit warmer because I do have a warm skin tone, but I prefer a cooler contour on, my pers on myself. So let's go ahead and jump to the demo and I'll be right back.
Alright, so we are back. You guys saw in the demo um, how it went on. I did put on two layers for you, and I don't know if you guys saw with if you could see it on my fingers or not, but I patted my face and showed you guys like that up into the camera. Um, I was trying to show you that it does transfer if you don't set it. So I do have a very light dusting of setting powder on my face because it does transfer. Uh, I used the Makeup Forever uh, finishing powder to set my face today because I didn't want anything really, really heavy. Um, I also did set underneath my eyes. Like I said, I did not use it as concealer as it just does not work well for concealer. Um, and then on the rest of my face, I use the Fiona Styles. What's on my lips is the Fiona Styles lipstick in Rennie, as well as the Milani Number no. 12 Color Statement Lip Pencil, Modern Renaissance by Anastasia, and then I use the Viseart Theory Palette in Enamored on the rest of my face. And so that's everything that's on my face currently, and then of course my normal brow products and stuff like that. Um, as far as my third, my first thoughts on this product go. Uh, I really did not like this product when I first applied it on Thursday. And I, I'm going to be honest, like I just did not like it. I actually went ahead and printed out the return label for it and everything because it just set on the skin horribly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can see what it looks like with all the makeup on. It doesn't look that bad now. Um, it's currently 116 um, and I do, I've had this on since noon. Um, so it's now starting to absorb into the skin, which brings me to my next point. Uh, this, this foundation, the longer that you wear it, the nicer that it seems to look. So that's why I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to actually go through and return it, um, just because as I wear this foundation throughout the day, it's one of those that kind of change throughout the day. Um, when I first apply it, I do not like it. And then about hour two, I start to like it. Hour three, hour four, it starts looking nicer and nicer. And then by five, six, seven, it continues to look nicer as I wear it. And personally for me, I don't have too many foundations that actually do that. Um, so I was kind of surprised by that. Um, usually if it doesn't look good right up front, I'm not going to like it and I want to send it back uh, and it's just usually not going to work out. Um, but this one really caught me off guard and has surprised me so far. Uh, from wearing it the last three days, granted I've worn it with a primer so we will see how it wears today without any primer underneath. Uh, I've really really liked it as I've worn it. I, the first day I wore it, I wore it for 14 hours and it held up really really nicely for 14 hour wear. It went to a nice glowy state on my skin um, and just looked really 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 nice. And then the next day I only wore it for six or seven hours. It looked good. It also looked really good by the end of the day. And then the last time I wore it, which was yesterday, which was Saturday, I wore it um, probably for only six hours. Um, and like I said, for the first couple hours, I really don't care, care for it. It doesn't look bad if you are um, like a normal person would be from distance from your face, but if you get right up in the mirror, you can see kind of where it's clung on to the dry patches and everything up until hour two or three where it kind of melts into your skin and just kind of works with it and makes it look just like one nice smooth piece. Um, so yeah, I will be back later on in today. I'm gonna to keep my glasses on for the day because I didn't feel like wearing contacts again. And I will probably check back in like three or four hours and give you guys an update. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's currently two o'clock. Um, but I wanted to check in and show you real quick. This is what it looks like after only like two hours of wear with my glasses on. Um, it's really, really coming off. Granted, my I have fat cheeks. So my glasses hit right there. Um, I have found that if you just take your sponge I wanted to check in because I'm going to fix it, but I wanted to show you guys. Um, it does blend back in decently. Um, you can use a mixture of your sponge or your finger and kind of tap it back in. Um, a little bit of the coverage does go away, but I wanted to come on and show you guys that real quick um, while I touched it up. Because normally I don't touch it up throughout the day, but that was just too bad. It was really showing through my glasses. Hi! Alright, it is currently, can you guys see that? 4.30ish. Um, so this foundation has been on since noon. It's been on for about four and a half hours. Um, and I am so confused about this foundation. Um, like I said earlier, I have worn this for three days prior. I wore it on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. All of those days I wore it with some kind of combination of primers and I liked the way it wore 
uh, throughout the day. I didn't like it on initial application, but as it wore on with my skin and melded in with my skin, I liked it. Today, I have no primer on, and I'm not liking it at all. Um, it, I just don't like... I can see all my boxes and everything. Okay, yeah, I just don't like the way it looks on my skin right now, particularly around my nose area. Uh, let's see. Really close up. Um, it just looks really, really heavy on my nose area, which it didn't the other days that I wore it. There's my forehead. It looks kind of heavy on my forehead. It just looks heavy, and it just looks heavy everywhere, and I'm just not happy with how it's wearing today, where as the other three days, like I said, with the other primaries, it, it kind of just melted into the skin. Maybe I personally need that extra hydration, but I can literally just, you know, touch my face and there is just a just transfer, um, which is another thing that I didn't have issues with when I wore the primers. Um, so it kind of, I just don't know. I, I just really confused. I don't know whether I like it or I hate it. I'm kind of in the middle ground right now because with the primers I did like it but without a primer this is definitely a no-go for me um, and my personal likes. Um, I am going to do one more check-in. This is in natural lighting. I will be doing another check-in probably between 8 or 10 o'clock tonight and that will be with the ring light to see, let you guys see how it has worn for the rest of the day. Um, but yeah, as of this moment... Without a primer, I definitely do not like it. Um, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so it's currently the end of the night. I am ready to wash this off my face. Um, it's currently 8.25, so this foundation has been on for eight and a half hours. I would have normally kept it on. Um, I was gonna try to keep it on until 10, but I am just ready to wash my face off. It is feeling really heavy on my skin, which is really surprising. I did go for a walk after I did my last check-in. I went for a really long walk. It's about 80 degrees and humid out. So my final thoughts on this foundation are that I really do not like this foundation without my primers that I had mentioned early on in the video. This foundation did not wear at all the same without those primers. Um, with no primer, it has become, it, it transfers really easily. Without the primers, it kind of cakes up and just makes my skin look really dry and really heavy throughout the day instead of getting a little bit more glowy and like it was doing before with the primers, it would get a little bit more glowy and it just kind of melded into the skin a little bit better, I felt. Um, so yeah, if I'm going to continue wearing this foundation, I will definitely be using the primers that I mentioned. Um, and I will not be using this foundation again without a primer because it just looks awful on my skin right now. I'm going to zoom you guys in. Um, I don't know if you can see just how awful it looks. I'm hoping the camera does pick it up even with the ring light. But it's really, really bad around my nose, especially around my piercing. It has gathered up so badly. It looks really heavy on my forehead and on even on my cheek area and on my chin area. It just looks really, really dry and I'm just just not happy with it. Um, I wouldn't want to wear this makeup out right now. It feels tacky on my skin and it just feels gross and it's so amazing to me that the only difference that I've done with it is I didn't wear a primer today. Um, so that tells me that the primers that I used worked really well for this foundation and actually helped it. Um, Overall, I can't say that I hate it and I can't say that I love it. I do like it with the primers, but I do not like it right now as it is on my face. Um, I would definitely, if you were looking to try this, I would go to Sephora and get a sample of it. Um, and they'll give you enough for probably two to three applications and so you can get an idea. Overall, I, out of ten, I would give this a five just because I just, I just don't know. Um, like I said, the primer thing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys found this review helpful and thank you so much for watching. Oh, um, if you've tried this foundation and you have dry skin or oily skin, let us know what you thought of it down below in the comments. Give us the reasons why you liked it or give us the reasons why you hated it. Um, so we can kind of help each other out because my opinion is not the only opinion and what works for me might be what doesn't work or what what doesn't work or what works for me might work or not work for you. Um, so let us know down below. The more comments, the better as far as letting us know 
how it works for everybody. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.